Hey, welcome back. Okay, uh, you just had your meeting with the nice professor lady, uh, Professor uh, Sarin, uh, at uh, the museum. Hooray for exchanging information. <laughs> mm -hmm. And kind of lying mm -hmm. about who we are. Kind of. I said I've been pretty blunt. So, uh, you have time. What do you want to do with said time? You could check out more of the museum. You could arrange to go to that police station and get those weapons checked like you were supposed to. Options. I will, uh... I will defer to Therese and Mishka. What do you want to do? I don't care. Probably look around some more. Our weapons are already safe. Probably don't have to worry about that for a while now. I would like to see more of the museum. Same. And uh, I'm sorry if uh, I hope I know you have a little bit. Uh, which one of you has actually the background with like family? In the cult? I do. Mishka, yeah. Mishka, yeah. okay. Um, and Mishka, uh, I hope I didn't overstep my bounds. I know you have some familiar relation to... Uh, it's okay. Hideout. Whatever gets us to our goal is totally fine. Very well. Very practical. So, shall I we like that. move on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you can spend some time in the museum. Uh, the rest of the area you are in seems to be a portion of it. Like, you are in one of the wings that ha that's basically all about uh, old people from there. You know, it's, it's the uh, archaeological section. Um, you can check out the rest of it, which it has a lot of, like, cultural things from different areas. Um, some areas that you probably didn't even, like, know that you might find something on. Um, like, uh... Stupid telemarketers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get some, like, stuff from Karatora. Um, you know, it, that seems to be, like, a big thing. You actually see a, um, section of stuff, uh, on the, uh, uh, Matsuka. Like a, a, a area that's basically all about Max, Maxica and one that's all about Os, which are, you know, uh, areas of the world that you uh, didn't think you would have uh, information on. It, it's actually very exciting kind of thing. Um, uh, of various continents throughout it. Like, you know, you learn, you, you can learn a little bit about some, like, it looks like old Karatora cultures, uh, Mastican cultures, which, like, you know, Mastica is this, like, legendary place that, you know, the stories of going there are incredibly dangerous and, like, uh, things. Um, in fact, like, there's an entire area where you can find a map of Toril, like a world map of Toril, and it looks very different from anything you've ever seen. You are impressed that there is... Uh, like, out of game for those of you who are wondering. It looks a lot like uh, like the the Earth map in a certain ways. That Faerun is Europe, Karatora is kind of your Asia, um, Zakarta is kind of like your Central Africa, Middle East, Southern Asia kind of thing. Uh, there is an area equivalent to uh, Australia, one to South America. Mazdaka is like Central America, and there's a North America area to the north of it. But I can't give you all their names off the top of my head. If, if I'm not mistaken, isn't, like, Faerun, like, in theory, like, it split off from Earth at some point or something? It's, like, an alternate version of our world. Yeah, like, Os is supposed to be Australia, um, there's, uh, Katashaka, which is South America, Mazdaka, Central America, Anachrome is North America, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, like, you know, and, and because... Chult is very like African jungly. It's it's like actually split up the way that the the, the two areas that lead to Africa slash Middle East 
are kind of split from each other because there's an ocean in between them, which is actually very different from, you know, what we have. So, like, and even then, like, where you're at, Calimport had some very, like, uh, southern Spain, Middle Eastern feels to it kind of mixed together. So it has that kind of, like, um, Mediterranean, deserty feel to it. And the own city you're in. So that's very interesting things, like... And so uh, you definitely can learn a little bit about the world as a whole. Some things that you didn't actually think you would ever learn. You know, this is like information that you just didn't see that you would be finding out about. It's, it's very interesting and educational. Uh, the rest of muse the museum, as you kind of like wander through it, you can find out there's areas dedicated to some common animals in various different regions. Um, we are probably one of three people to ever learn something from a museum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Honestly. Mean, come on now. It's not that... Like, museums are that great, bad. but generally it's like, you pick up little bits, but you generally know most of the stuff that the museum is about. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so you definitely do learn, like... Uh, a little bit of like that the world has been explored it it seems to be your world but like it, it does seem to have a time factor to it um like the the hall of mythical beasts is probably the most interesting one it's got a lot of strange creatures you've never seen or heard about uh some of which maybe like thinking a little while you might have heard of like a legend about it or something but it's like oh that's that was something that was real kind of things um but regardless it, it definitely you uh can spend a good deal of time learning about um your world on a big whole and enjoying some uh, uh education and uh fine times with it but um after a couple of hours um you pretty much toured the museum and read and seen a lot of things. Um, you'd have an idea of like, like, like one of the more interesting ones is like, you know, oh, there's local, the local animal life. You know, you can learn about some of the creatures that are still around and some things that are apparently supposedly gone or very rare, things like that. But, like there was a type of snake that was very dangerous that apparently is very rare nowadays. But they had some like models of it up. Good. <laughs> it was in the desert, and it was one of those things you had to keep an eye out for. It was one of the venomous snakes in the desert. They're not dead, just rare now. But anyway, um, so you've seen most of it. What do you want to do now that you've kind of toured the uh, area? Is there still day left over? Probably a little bit of it. Um, I mean, you, you're you about getting towards the time you think that the uh, uniformed man was supposed to be meeting with you. Oh. Okay, so it's still a bit early. Um, hmm. Well, I think we should go and check in our weapons. I suppose so. I suffer, I suffer from this less than you two do. <laughs> okay. Well, I said that it shouldn't take too long. We might be able to get by very quickly. And then be back in time. Yes, that works. All right, um, so you'll head outside and probably wait a little while, and then a uh, uh, the man will come up to you, actually, on his uh, strange device. He's like, oh, good. Did you get everything taken care of in the uh, museum? Yes, we will have to come back later, but... Uh... Oh, um, you know, that makes sense. Uh, probably don't want you... Uh, Make, making a mess or anything about all that but anyway uh glad that you are doing all right why don't you come with me i'll take you to the station uh, i'll have to leave you there uh but i've got some great friends there that'll take care of everything for you 
Um, he'll lead you uh, on a short walk through the little area of the city. You're actually going to pass by the um, large temple that he talked about, the uh, the Church of All. Um, you can see that it's got like now you can see the symbol. It's got a really strange holy symbol that seems to represent like a combination of uh, maybe the, a sun and a moon together, along with stars around it. It's um, very interesting. Anyway. Here, Mish Mishka looks at it, but she doesn't like comment on Um. Anyway, um, so after a little while walking a couple of blocks, you'll actually come to a building. Um, in a well, you'll get to an area of some more buildings and kind of like its own building of its own, like taking up the block. You can see there's an area for uh, car beasts that seem to all look very similar to each other. Um, like most of the car beasts you see, some of them look the same, some of them are different, slightly different shapes, some of them have different colors, you know. These all look pretty much the same. And they seem to have like markings that have been put on them, almost looks like numbers and symbols that have been added to them. As if maybe like someone has tattooed them or, or painted them. You're not quite sure you know how it is, because it's some kind of weird construct. You're not sure how the nature of, of writing on a construct would be. If you'd actually have to paint it, or it would be something similar to a tattoo. Magical nature and all. Anyway, they seem to all be kind of resting there. A number of them, like, you see a number of them being guided by these uniformed men, leading out, uh, probably going somewhere. Um, but he'll kind of uh, take you to the what appears to be the front door of this building and say uh, just head inside um they're expecting you um so uh, uh Vercel, mishka therzy good to meet you just check everything in make sure you're okay you'll get a little past that if anybody asks uh you should be able to get away with getting into most buildings but be warned there are probably some places that if you like want to go to a little bit more upscale like hotels or restaurants they're probably not going to allow you in at the very least with the weapons you're carrying, even with the way you're looking. Um, but small motels probably won't care too much about you taking that stuff in, especially if you get the pass here. That means at least you know you're you're abiding by the local laws. But do remember now, um, if you do anything violent, dangerous in the city with said weapons, you will be persecuted to the full extent of the law. Even if we are simply defending ourselves? Well, that's an entirely different thing. If it looks like to be self-defense, then that's something that uh, most likely you should be fine with. We won't have to worry about that. Self-defense is something that is acceptable to do. Uh, I just hope that you don't get to a situation that you'll have to worry about that. I nod. All right, I'm going to uh, head on out then. Um, I'm going to park my bike over on in the side, and then I've got to get going. It's about off my shift then. Um, it was nice meeting you. If you're around the park, please, um, well, please keep the weapons out. Yeah, uh, maybe keep them in your uh, like your hotel room or wherever you're staying. Hey. Okay. I nod. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll turn to leave that. So, Do any of us have charisma dot? There are like charisma points? Charisma score? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been to that part in a hot second. I'm just curious because it's like, I don't have social scores or social skills. Uh, and I have I a negative really one think to charisma. My would either. Uh, all of you. <laughs> no, okay, no. I have no one is charismatic in your group. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mishka purely knows the cult. <laughs> and that's it. He yep. knows how to interact with people in the cult, and that's it. Yep. I'm not sure about anything else. I don't bother with people unless I'm robbing them. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to build this cult back, cult back up at all. <laughs> I see how we're all in it, though, honestly. For sure. 
Yeah. You just magic people in. It's fine. I Means one of the first people we need to uh, get to join us uh, should have uh, some charisma. Perhaps. Uh, but I guess we go in and start. Yeah. I guess I don't know that process. Yep. So. All right. Um. So behind the desk is a uh, like. Um. The strangest thing you probably would ever see, like, it, uh, it it looks to be, like, a overweight bugbear behind the desk there. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, I was told you're coming in here. Uh, register some weapons. Let me get the paperwork for you. He kind of, like, waddles up a little bit. He's, like, uh, he'll get, like, some, like, like looks strange things with papers on them. They look like uh, sheets of wood with some kind of like metal piece that's been attached to these papers to hold them in place. Uh, and he gives you what looks to be maybe ink pens, but like not with feathers. They look just like the tip ends of the pens. He's like, gosh, fill out the forms. Mm. As then he starts chowing down on some kind of circular pastry. <laughs> uh, I'm just loving it that you went with the stereotype. Anyway, <laughs> I, I did go with the, I did go with the stereotype, but I made him a, uh, a bugbear, which makes it stranger. <laughs> yeah, no, I I know it's just it's great. It is. Um, yeah, I guess I'll start filling out the form. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can notice Are that, like, uh, pens? he's like, yeah, he's, you got pens, actually, but they look like, they're like ink <laughs> pens without an inkwell or anything, if you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have been, like, staring at it very strangely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I write, I, as I write, I keep, like, looking at it, like... Oh, but what do I, you know, dip this into? Oh, uh, I guess it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, he's gonna like, hey, the, the pen's not working. As he like wipes, as he like takes fine. his hand and like wipes his mouth of like some kind of like mixture of like looks like some kind of like cream and jelly or something, and like like like, 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 like kind of licks it off the back of his hand there. All right, okay. Let me just test here. He gets the, like he takes it and takes a piece of pad and writes on it, and it looks to make like puts out ink on it. Yeah, no, it works fine. There you go. Sorry. Uh, if you need another one, uh, if it's running out of ink, I got a couple more pens back here. Uh, th thank you. <laughs> yeah. To just keep going about what I was doing. <laughs> Uh, you, as you're kind of, like, filling out these forms, which have a lot of questions that are very hard to answer, but simple. Like, name, address, you don't really have one of those. Phone number, <laughs> you all have the same one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yep. there's, like, question and answers, like, a, it gets, like, the first, like, part of, like, filling it out is very difficult. You probably have spaces in it, you know, but... Uh, Date of birth, 14-something. <laughs> 1491 is the year. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's our date of birth. They're not going to believe us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just... Um, I look really good for my age. Yeah, I... I, uh, I probably skip date of birth just because I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you'll have, like, holes in what you're filling out as you kind of... What would you say? I'm sorry. Uh, she fills out, like, most of the basic things, mm -hmm. but definitely skips address. <laughs> yep. Probably some other stuff on there that are like, what? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so you'll be filling that out. It's got some questions and answers towards the bottom that, like, 
it's basically asking what your plans are in the city, um, where some of them have multiple choices that seems like, it says, like, check each uh, box that is correct. Um, and there's, like, little boxes next to these things. You're like, mm. let's, let's check. <laughs> Yeah. Also, my writing probably looks terrible and illegible, <laughs> because as I now that I think about it, it's like my character knows how to read, but do I know how to write? Because there is a slight difference there. <laughs> you probably did because of the profession you went into, but probably it is like a thing you learned later on in life. So yes, I'd assume that you have not great handwriting. Yeah. I... But all of you are in situations you probably at least learned the basics of reading and writing, but probably none of you are really great writers. Yeah, I mean, like, I... Like, my backstory includes how I learned to read, basically. Yep. <laughs> like, I learned it, like, not, like, you know, in, to my character only, like, you know, five years ago. Or, like, a couple <laughs> years ago, so... Yup. You should have, might have, like, a decent understanding of how to write properly. Like... Like, maybe he's, like, training to become part of the cult. They probably had to do a lot. Oh, yeah, no. It, 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 with your cult standing, they might have actually had you learn because maybe they expected you to be, like, reading and maybe copying book stuff, too, you know? Um, yeah. They had, to have, they had to do a lot of hand-copying stuff. So maybe she probably has, like, a decent understanding of how to write, at least clearly. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in a straight line, but clearly. Yep. Um, so, oh, interesting. Uh, after a little while, though, you'll see like um, a uh, another bugbear, much much more like in akin to like the the, the tough looking bugbears you've seen before, and uh, a, a human uh, man. Both of them kind of come in, and they kind of seem to be like uh, busting the chops of the guy behind the thing. They're like kind of. Uh, uh, friendly conversation with little quibs that you can tell are a little aggressive, like, uh, come, come on, uh, Torin, you gotta get out to the gym a little bit. We get free use of it. Man, it's like, ah, nah, I'm fine behind the desk here. I like my, my part of the job. Look, man, you're not gonna pass your physical unless you get a little bit about, I am in perfect shape. <laughs> <laughs> I can get through the physical just fine. I keep enough with that, and then I can enjoy these sweet little devils. It is not my fault that the local big tree makes such great things. And as, like, uh, like the, the bugbearer guy is going to kind of, like, grab one and be like, You're right about that. As so he, like, takes a big bite of one of them, and the two of them kind of wander out the front door. Uh, you'll finish up the paperwork as best as you can. Um... What are you going to do once you're done? And it... Uh, just pulled the paper out back to him, I guess? Okay, he'll look the thing out to him. Ah, let me take a look here on all the stuff you got. Mm. Uh, do you do... What, what's your address? We are not from the city. Alright, do you have an address when you came from? Someplace that, like, things can be mailed to you or sent to you. Mm. Maybe killing himself for, like, shit weeks. <laughs> gotcha. You're... I, I... I could give you directions for a carrier pigeon. <laughs> so I'm assuming you don't have a permanent address right now. Great. Uh... <laughs> You pilgrim types uh, get, seem to always get worse. How about date of birth? Are you being respectful by not putting this in because you can't convert it to the local date? Is that it? Here, here. Um, he's going to pull out like a calendar and put it out in front of you um, and be like, see, uh, here is the current month, the current day. Hopefully this will help you to figure out uh, uh, what's going on. Um... Jeez, I don't know what calendar you're probably using if you're using a different calendar. Um, shoot. Uh, well, maybe we should just go by the current date here. 
Um, it is four twenty seven DR. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, 40, 40, 27 yeah. DR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, 2,500 years, according to him. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hmm. Well, now we know about how long things have been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I guess Gucci like, kind of just, like, puts, like, the, the calendar looks beforehand. at least similar, like, month-wise, you know, <laughs> so that at least <laughs> matches. And uh, mm. I, it's technically, um, it seems like these days of the week are named after pa pa popular ancient deities, because it's like, I called it Sunday, but it's technically Sunday. It's just people drop the accent nowadays. Yeah, that was my attempt. That roll was my attempt to count backwards for my age. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I. I don't think I know math very well. <laughs> You're like, ah, <laughs> I'm old. Ah, <laughs> uh, how how old are you right now? Do you have your. Do you know your the date of your birthday. We can kind of like backpedal here. Uh. I just kind of like leaning over and you kind of like, see, like think about his like <laughs> uniform you know notice it just sort of fits at this point in time as he's kind of like leaning a little bit over like the counter in front of you as he's kind of like flapping into it it's like it's it's not very like you know he's not very graceful in his entire appearance and way he's doing things um I am about uh 420 moons Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, how about you two? Uh, he, he actually will take your paper and just write the words 420 moons on it. <laughs> just <give> it that. <laughs> That's fine. As he's just gonna take the paperwork and just like, like unceremoniously put it off to the side. Then. <laughs> wow, my dear. She's saying very slowly, very not sure. <sighs> All right, right, okay. Like you know what? You know what? Forget it. Forget it. We don't need to how how old you are. <laughs> thump, thump. <sighs> <laughs> Give me a little bit. Sit down and wait. I'll have some things printed up for you. Um, as it looks like he'll put in some, he'll like type something up uh, on, or like you know, on, on one of those clicky clack kind of things. So it's like the little, again, like the thing on your phone for letters, except it makes clicking noises and it seems to be button form rather than just tapping it. Less powerful magics. Anyway, uh, after, like, waiting for a little bit of time and it seemed bored, you know, uh, the most exciting thing is, like, uh, at one point in time, uh, a number of officers will come in, uh, bringing in what looks to be a group of unruly, uh, you know, teenagers, uh, young adults, uh, three humans, an orc, and a goblin. Um, they're all wearing, like, weird clothing with, like, uh, green bandanas on. Um, uh, they got, like, p their pants look like they need belts. And they got all <laughs> kinds of chains kind of carrying on them. And, uh, they're, they're like, okay. they're speaking in a weird way you don't quite understand. Like, they occasionally say words which don't make sense. It's like, you're grunk, man, if you think this is gonna uh, bring us down. We weren't doing anything. Damn teenagers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, they'll be taken back, uh, apparently, to be processed at this, uh, what looks to be maybe this is... Uh, y you get the feeling from their behavior that maybe this is... These, are, these police are their version of guards for the city. They just have a fancier title, maybe. They're the local constabulary. 
anyway, uh, that was exciting for a little bit. And then after a while, uh, the man will kind of like go, go all right, here's your cards. Uh, just keep them with you. You can show them off. Uh, that just says that you have a, uh, a class one uh, permission and license to carry the items around. Uh, that means class one tells me that you have no permission to use those except in the use of extreme self-defense. Uh, you will uh, check them into any place that is appropriate for checking them in. Uh, you will not uh, private references have uh, their own rules. You're not permitted to bring them into parks or uh, any kind of public works uh, that it is uh, you you that is dangerous to have any form of weapons in. That means uh, you would not be able to bring them any further into the police station or into any courtroom, any government buildings. Not allowed in any of those. Uh, also, you are not permitted to use them onto the subway, but you can use them on local buses. Uh, so you can keep them with you on a local bus. Uh, probably the driver might still want you to have them on the front, if he asks for it at all. Just to keep things safe. Any Slowly other questions? Slowly nod. <laughs> Right, here you go. Each one of you, this is yours, this is yours, and this is yours. Um, they're, okay. like, they've just got, like, paper in it, but it's also got, like, it, it looks like glass because it's kind of clear, but it's smooth and feels strange. It's not like glass because it's not hard because you can kind of bend it. She's, like, trying, she's, like, Messing with it, seeing how much it does bend, and if it hey, does hey. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Uh, please don't break them the first minute you get them. She very slowly stops in her attempt to, like, snap it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to snap it, I was just playing with pocket. it. <laughs> just, I, I put my if you need to present them, present them. <laughs> Alright. She just wanted to see how far it bent. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> uh, if you need anything else, just ask. Um, I might be able to help you with directions or anything. If not, um, have a good day. You too. Thanks. <laughs> she slowly walks toward the exit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, um, it's getting later in the day, but why don't, before we figure out what you're doing next, take our second break, because this seems like a good time for it, and then we can go into our last bit of, uh, the last hour there, where you can head back to the museum and, uh, go for some late night adventures with an imp. <laughs> Probably. Unless you get into Yeah, I figured. I I figure I figured that's what we'd be doing. <laughs> Unless you get into misadvent misadventures or shenanigans, because knowing you guys, you might... But anyway, again, bathroom yeah, we break. We haven't been that bad yet. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom break, snack <laughs> drink, if you need any of those things, go ahead and take care of them, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Bye. Welcome folks. <laughs>